Welcome to Studio V's Christmas Special Part 2 with the theme Musical Christmas. Here today in the studio is our very own Malaysian violinist and songwriter who is young, talented and booming in his career locally. It's none other than Dennis Lau. Thank you. Dennis, welcome to Studio V. How are you? My it's pleasure. A, it's a pleasure to have you here. Well, Dennis is now an accomplished musician in the local scene in contemporary jazz and rhythm. He has achieved a lot in a short span of time, already having shared stage with Asia's most prominent and popular artists and celebrities. He's just launched his album titled Diversify last month. Dennis is also a regular guest performer on various television programs such as The uh, Breakfast Show okay, and Malaysia Harini, the celebrity chat on ATV and many others. Now, Dennis, you often say, music is my business yeah. and you know, you have had many extraordinary moments in your musical journey. So now you're 24 years old, share with us, where did this all begin? Oh, it all began um, when I was at the age of three. Uh, my mom was a piano teacher, so uh, she taught me the piano and um, I've never looked back since. And eventually at seven years old, uh, I picked up the violin. Uh, I was born in Tolo Intan, mm -hmm. so when I, was, when I picked up the violin, I traveled to Ipoh every, every week to learn the violin until I moved here when I was nine. I've done music all my life, take the exams every year uh, till I go into college and university and after that making my own business and um, started out my own business and eventually writing my own songs. So you did your musical degree or something? Yeah, I did my where, where did classical you do? degree. Actually, it's a Australian, Newcastle Australia program in UCSI, Sudai College. Yeah. So you majored in? I majored in piano and violin. Piano and violin. Excellent, excellent. So, share with us, you know, since you have your violin with you here, mm -hmm. you know, play with us, play, play, just share with us what's your first uh, debut hit, you know, that, that, that set stage for you to Well, I've, um, I've always composed my songs and um, probably the, the, uh, the song that took me um, to where, where you are today, where, where, where yeah, I am today yeah. here is a um, prelude in F minor, okay. uh, in which I have the honour to perform with uh, this Wonderful saxophonist, um, Malaysia's top saxophonist, yeah. Mr. Jimmy Sax. But today, obviously, he's not here. Okay. So I'm going to play it. Just a short snippet. Yeah, just, just simple. We'll song. just yep. let. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so that so song, um, I, be, I perform it uh, in front of the king before. Okay. Um, twice actually. One was uh, by invitation to his uh, mom's mom's birthday. Birthday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, share with us a bit of your some of your memorable experiences. You know, in, in your whole musical journey, right from your started until now. You know, who? What are the, some of the best memorable moments actually? Uh, well, I'll say that, uh, that one of the, one of those would be the, uh, that that performance yeah. that I just said earlier and in Korea, but. When I did my launch uh, on that day itself, 12th of November in Star Hill, uh, I think that would be my most memorable one mm. apart from uh, the, the rest because I think that, that means something to me and marks a momentous uh, uh, point in my life mm. and to be able to perform with uh, different, oh my, different artists in the album, uh, Jimmy Sax, Shantina's uh, good friend Yuri Wong as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, Different, di different, different people, uh, but all mean, each of them means some, some something, something to you, yeah. something special to you. Yeah, exactly. Or is there any any moment where you know you, you one of the you like to share that you know that, that really challenged you, but at the same time you know. Oh, that launch was really cha challenging you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I I had to plan it not only musically, like the flow of the event and the, the backdrop, the sound system. Uh, Everything we have to do it ourselves. Uh, we did, I did it myself, me and my my, my management team, and uh, because that means uh, from the musical notes to the, uh, the to the rostrum to be placed there to the flowers to the backdrop, everything the in post production. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was uh, that was something that meant a lot to me. Mm. Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Guys, let's take a short break and we're right back. Stop, man. Mm. Keep on talking. So let's talk.